Hi everyone, my name is Christiana and I am raising money for the RNLI, which for those of you who don't know is the Royal National Lifeboat Institute and I can invalid children's aid nationwide by drinking water with my meals for 90 days. Now today marks day 67. Woo! I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Oh my word. So uh, I was watching Super Sunday and a bit of technically Super Saturday if you're looking at the time of Mofar's uh, race, like 10,000 meters and I'm not sure whether you saw it but he stumbled during the race and then recovered like the G that he is and he won gold. So if Mo Far is watching this, shout out and big up to you because that was for Team G B. Yeah. So like seeing that I realised that you know the one thing that people underestimate about athletes, Olympians, and generally people in life is how much adversity you have to overcome before you achieve success and so it made me realize you know that even me myself had a bit of a stumble throughout this 90 day water challenge and it happened about two weeks ago or two weeks ago on a sunday and uh what happened was i went for a wedding congratulations tola and adam you guys are amazing i'm so happy for you guys um and so i, I went i went for for their wedding i went for their wedding and I had a lot and I had a lot to eat and I'll tell you why because I felt like you know it was past like, like at least I, I got a substantial amount of the way through this 90 day water challenge and I was like I just want to reward myself for getting this far because I genuinely didn't see myself making it to this stage like even though I said I was going to do 90 day water challenge like I, I didn't envision it the way that I had so I was like oh you know what I just want to treat myself I just want to reward myself let me just go all out so I went all out on food right so I was dancing and I thought oh you know what I'm burning calories anyway so like why you know like I'm gonna be fine right so I, I didn't think anything of it because I was like okay well I've eaten now I'm dancing so I'm burning off all the calories I've just eaten it's all blessed not quite so the next day now, I, I went to bed and I felt, I felt all right. And I was like, okay. Well, I feel, you know, maybe there might be, you know, there might be, um, no, I didn't suspect anything. Then maybe if, if there was supposed to be anything that came up, I thought it would be before I went to bed after the wedding. No. The next day I woke up, oh my word. My stomach was doing things the stomach shouldn't do. Oh my word. It was like, it's so excruciating and, and to be honest this is not always like I'm not necessarily proud to say this but I'm, I guess um, I, I thought I'd ought to share this so that you're aware of the ups and downs that take place um, you know I spent half my time or half the time that day in the bathroom because I it was just I had to just allow it to just roll out and play out like I tried taking a water and people were like, yeah, try drinking water. I was like, I drunk a sip of lukewarm water and it uh, oh, my word, what it did, yeah. Oh, it made it so much worse. So anyway, so I was like, okay, fine. Um, this is not really working. And so people were suggested, oh, why don't you drink green tea? Why don't you drink white tea? I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm doing the 90 day water challenge, not the 90 day green tea challenge or, or the 90 day white tea challenge. It's the 90 day water challenge. Yeah, I can't break it. They're like, you're thinking about that? I was like, yeah, I've done for this long. Like, I need to raise, like, th there's so many things at stake. Like, I was just thinking about it, like, reflecting on it. Like, look, the if you saw the, the BBC documentary Saving Lives at Sea, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's like, you, I'm not going to just start switching like that halfway through. No, 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 I'm all right. Look, look, listen, I'm sticking to water, right? If that water doesn't, you know, work, I'll just go without. Like, I'm not, like, allowing. So, so people are like, oh, yeah, you're still thinking about that. So, yeah, because I, because the whole point is that water is even supposed to be cleansing. Like, the, with the qualities of water, like, it's supposed, I, you, it's best. Like, anyway point being made right so i'm i was i'm i was adamant i was sticking to water yeah so you know allowed it like 
the next day, so this was on the Sunday, so then I woke up on the Monday. Thankfully, I was still cautious, but I was feeling a bit better, to be honest, a lot better than I did on Sunday. So I was just like, okay, let's just work, let's just like work it out. Let's have a bit of toast. Let's have a bit of, you know, a bit of fluid, like, um, not fluid, sorry. Have a bit of toast, like have a bit of, like just ease myself slowly into like, normality so I did and I'm fine now but you know it's just one of those things that can come up and and so what I, it made me realize is like look you know this these things can happen but you know it's not about how hard you fall it's about how hard you fall get back up and keep on going you know and I felt like you know that was a bit of a you know stumble but you know I got up and, and I kept it moving like Mo Farah did in such an inspiration um, but you know everybody can do that and everybody has it in them to do that if they have a big enough why if they have a big enough purpose and for me you know this this whole nice day water challenge it, it runs it runs deep but I, I'm gonna do that in a, in a different video because I feel like yeah I, I that's what I wanted to share about today remember your setback is a setup to your comeback so don't allow you know uh, yourself to wallow in self-pity this is don't do that just like dust yourself off and, and keep on going because that it just because you achieve success doesn't mean that it won't be hard doesn't mean that you won't go through hardship it just means that you you know there's always a light at the end of the tunnel you know and you can always make it so don't forget that don't lose sight of that don't lose sight of perspective but it's easier said than done it's just surround yourself with positive people and yeah stay blessed so on that note i have uh, since i started lost a bit of weight so you know what i just wanted to put it to the test and see how much weight i, I potentially have lost right so i've got this here this black this black jumper so if i can wear it yeah i know it's good okay? so let's try it yeah let's, let's just try it let's be a little, little quick 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 see what we've got we've got Let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's see. So for those who are eagle-eyed, you'll see that the jumper that I'm wearing is this. No, nope, not today. So look, so as you can see this. So does this really fit me? Can you can you say that can you say that this fits me? I don't know. But what I know is that. I'm glad that I've made the progress that I made. Thank you everybody for your support. Thank you for all of those of you who have donated. Thank you for people who are still spreading the word. Thank you for people who are just well wishing me. I just really appreciate all of you and I thank you so much for um, your support and everything that you've done. So remember, do remember H2O is the only way to go and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna keep these coming as much as i can and if you guys can comment like subscribe i really really appreciate it otherwise have a great day peace